Hi, I'm Emily Mielstein, and this is a public comment video explaining the 2013 Red Snapper quota increase and supplemental recreational season. So the Gulf Council has to use the best available scientific information when making fisheries management recommendations. A benchmark stock assessment that was completed this spring indicated some good news. The Red Snapper stock is recovering and the acceptable biological catch can be increased. So, the Council Scientific and Statistical Committee reviewed the stock assessment and recommended an increase to the overfishing limit and also the acceptable biological catch for the next three years. This table shows the current levels and also the newly recommended levels for 2013, 2014, and 2015. You'll notice that the newly recommended 2013 acceptable biological catch is much larger than the current acceptable biological catch. This is because there's a few strong year classes moving through the fishery where spawning success has been higher than average. You'll also see that the 2014 and 2015 acceptable biological catch levels begin to decrease. That's because spawning success has been below average for fish in 2010 and also 2011. You'll also notice that the difference between the overfishing limit and the acceptable biological catch in the current year is pretty large. That's because there's a buffer that's built in for management and for scientific uncertainty. In 2013, 2014, and 2015, you'll see that the buffer is really small between the overfishing limit and the acceptable biological catch. That's because that buffer has been changed, so it now only accounts for scientific uncertainty. So let's quickly review our management targets. If harvest exceeds the overfishing limit, then a stock is considered to be experiencing overfishing, and the council has to take pretty drastic measures to stop that situation from happening. The acceptable biological catch is usually set below the overfishing limit to account for any sort of scientific uncertainty that's taking place. Next, the council has to set an annual catch limit and optionally an annual catch target. In the red snapper fishery, the annual catch limit is the quota. That quota can be set equal to the acceptable biological catch, or it can be set lower. Now, the, red, the recreational red snapper fishery has exceeded their quota every year since 2007, with the exception of 2010. So moving forward, the council has to decide where to set their quota relative to the recommended acceptable biological catch. So that brings us to our actions. The first action the council is considering is increasing the 2013 red snapper quotas. And then the second action considers setting the timing for a supplemental recreational fishing season. We'll start with action one, the 2013 quota increase. Red snapper is currently allocated 51% commercial and 49% recreational. The council has expressed a desire to set a constant quota for the next three years rather than mirror the declining acceptable biological catch levels recommended by the Scientific and Statistical Committee. A constant yield of 11.9 million pounds for the next three years would accomplish the same rebuilding rate as the SSC's recommended acceptable biological catches for 2013 and 2015, but this wouldn't provide much of a buffer between the overfishing limit and the acceptable biological catch. The council is considering five different alternatives. The first alternative is the no action alternative, and that would leave the quota at 8,460,000 pounds. Alternative two would set the quota at 12,100,000 pounds, but that would still require a reduction for 2014 and 2015. The third alternative would set the quota at 11.5 million pounds, and that's the council's current preferred alternative, and at that level, there could be a constant quota set for the next three years. Alternative four would set the quota at 11 million pounds, and alternative five would set the quota at 10 million pounds. Moving along to action two. Since the council is considering increasing the quota for 2013, they're also considering another recreational season. Currently, National Marine Fishery Service has the authority to determine whether to reopen a previously closed sector if the quota is available. September 1st is likely the earliest possible date for reopening the recreational red snapper season. That's because the rulemaking process takes a long time. Now, if the paperwork isn't finished by the 1st, then the season could open as soon as possible thereafter. Um, and some for hire captains have expressed a desire for the season to open later in the year so that they have time to plan. There are three different alternatives for action two. 
The first alternative is the no action alternative, meaning that the decision would be left up to National Marine Fisheries on when and if a recreational season will be reopened. The second alternative would allow National Marine Fisheries Service to reopen a continuous recreational fishing season until the quota is projected to be met. The season could open either on September 1st or as soon as possible thereafter, or on October 1st. And then the third alternative would be for National Marine Fisheries Service to reopen the red snapper fishing for weekends only. And that season could also open either on September 1st or as soon as possible thereafter, or it could reopen on October 1st. So we would really be interested in hearing your opinion on the 2013 quota increase options and also the options for the recreational fall season. The council is having a special meeting on July 17th and we would like to have your comments submitted by July 12th. You can do that at this link below. And as always, if you have any questions, you can contact us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video and tell us what you think.